today. Today, I'm upgrading my studio. I used to have the M Audio, which I stopped using. That had like eight inputs. Actually, might have had about 16 inputs, but it doesn't matter anyway. They stopped updating their drivers for this, so I couldn't use it on my Mac. I decided to get the Focusrite 2i2 Scarlet. Robert Baker, Glenn Fricker of YouTube, those guys all recommended Focusrite. It's so easy to use, pretty much plug in, your computer picks it up. No hassle with drivers like I've had with this. The only issue with this 2i2 Scarlet for me is that it's only got two inputs and I wanna record a band maybe coming in here, so I need more inputs. So Focusrite like what I'm doing on my channel and they've sent me this Clara 8 Pre, which is incredible and I thank them very much for that. So basically now I have 18 inputs which is incredible also this is a rack so i can put this next to my torpedo live so let's have a look what we've got in the pack here so we've got our instructions important information uh, we've got a power cable there's an eu cable i want the uk one we've got usb and i think it's thunderbolt and we've got the claret 8 pre here we go let's get it out <sighs> There's the bad boy. And as you can see, there's a hell of a lot more inputs and outputs I can play with on this, which is why I wanted it. Also, it's a rack, so it can neatly stay next to my Torpedo Live. So my system should now fit in nicely. So first up, I'm gonna start my cables that are gonna go from my audio interface into my tannoy monitors so let's do that so i've got two stag six meter and three meter stereo jack to xlr this one's the male so male looks like this this will plug into your monitors in my case my tannoy then going to jack so i've got two of those the jacks are going to go in the monitor ones i assume left and right here So now I've got my interface connected to my monitors, which are my Tannoy monitors. With all my wires I'm putting in my new audio interface, I'm gonna label them up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know what's in what, and I haven't got to keep swapping them over all the time like I did with my old 2i2. So that's gonna be so amazing. Masking tape and a Sharpie. That's all you need. You can buy some fancy stickers if you want. What I'm gonna do first is with channel three, I'm gonna set up my Torpedo Live and that's gonna stay channel three always. And that's connected to my Kraken. So my Kraken and my Torpedo Live will be going to channel three. So I've already got a cable there ready for this. So let's work out where it is. I've got the line out for my Torpedo Live and I'm gonna be going into number three on my Clara 8. Three. Number three input will always be my torpedo live. <laughs> For number four, I'm just gonna put in a normal Ernie Ball XLR cable, and I'll leave that down below my desk, labeled up so I know to grab that. What I'm gonna do is, you won't see in a second, I'm gonna go under my desk, poke this up, poke it through there, so I can shove it in. That's what she said. I've done the wrong one. Damn it. <laughs> I need the male one. I'm gonna go under again with the right one. So, I'm gonna plug this one into number four. So that could be used for, I don't know, plugging in my uh, condenser mic. I might even decide to plug in a pedal like my preamp live that uses an XLR output. So I know that I can go to channel four, plug this in instantly, happy days. Then I'll label up the female side got my masking tape let's shove that around there you can probably get more professional stuff than this but this does the job so there you go shove number four on there just so I know that's channel four for that lead I won't go through all the boring stuff of all this so basically you get the idea I'm gonna put a load of different ones in there so maybe four XLRs and maybe two normal guitar leads into this. 
because you've got another two on the front. So that's eight altogether. I can access potentially eight different inputs. There's also these as well. So as you can see here, I've used all my outputs. So I've got access to my Torpedo Live, three XLR cables, two jacks, and potentially two more on the front for either jack or XLR. So I've got plenty of inputs, way! Right, so that's all neatly tucked behind there. And then coming down here, I've got access to my different wires. Next up, we need to put the power in, and we need to connect up via USB or Thunderbolt. And then we should be good to go. This is quite a short cable, annoyingly, but that's gonna go around the back there and then plug into here. I can't plug it in until I move this down there. I now need to work out if I'm plugging in my USB or my Thunderbolt. I don't know if my computer has Thunderbolt. I'm so bad with technology. My Mac's a 2011 model, I think. Okay, I don't have Thunderbolt on my Mac, but it is an old Mac, so I'm going Thunderbolt to USB into my computer. The cable is very short that comes with this, that's the only annoying thing, but apart from that, so far, so good. Here we go, the moment of truth. Get back, wires. So obviously I could screw this in if I wanted to, but this is secure enough. So that's everything connected up. Next stop is onto the Mac to make sure it picks it up and then maybe plug in the guitar and see if it works. Yeah! So as you can see, I've got easy access to two inputs, either XLR or jack here. And I can control all the eight channels on the front here. And I've got two monitors here, so I can have two people listening to the mixes. I'm sure you can get some splitters so you can listen to more. I don't know about you guys, but if my studio is tidy, I will focus on work. If it's messy, I can't help but think it's messy. It's now time to see if it works. Do -do -do. Get rid of the cleaning stuff. Okay, so my Mac's on. I'm going to load up Logic Pro X. Let's do a new from template. Um, actually, let's just do a new project. Let's do Songwriter. Right, while that's happening, let's turn on the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre. Ready, go! Oh, and we have action. We have some lights. That's a good sign, so USB seems connected. Right. Logic Pro is scanning your system for all your devices, and it's picked it up. Do I want to use it? Use. Wow, that was probably the easiest setup known to man. You've not got to install any drivers or anything. Plug in and use. That's the way I like it. Right, let's see if I can get some guitar tones. So, I've got two on the front of these inputs and six on the back. So if you remember, number three should be the Torpedo Live. So the crack on going to appear live into this. Let's test it out. So I'm gonna set up a guitar then we'll see if it comes through here. New track, audio, we want this to be input three. Create. Right. Let's sell the guitar. So I've just grabbed my Shergold SM03. Black Sparkle, special edition. Let's turn on my Torpedo Live. Booyah. Let's turn on the Kraken. I'm just going to get the cable that I've got connected to Kraken. And fingers crossed, we should get some sound. Okay. Right, we have sound. So, you can see there's sound coming from here. And also on here, you can see on channel three, there is something there. Let's go to channel three and turn up, and then fingers crossed. Yay! 
So there you go. You can see over here, it's coming through. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super impressed with that. That was so easy to set up. I literally plugged in all the wires I needed around the back, put the power in, put the USB to the computer, literally turn my computer on, open my door, which is Logic Pro X. It picked up the audio interface. I was ready to go straight off the bat. And that is awesome. I highly recommend you guys checking out some of their stuff whether you want to look at the claret stuff or the scarlet stuff. Big thanks to these guys who are my patrons who support me for either five or seven dollars a month. In return, they get backing tracks and tabs from my videos from the past and from my upcoming videos for as long as they support me. And thank you very much for that. If you support me for seven dollars a month, you guarantee that your suggestion gets on my next 100 riffs. Also, that you get to play on my next 100 riffs played by you guys. <laughs> That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Maybe you learned something new. That's awesome. I'll see you in another video very soon.